has grown exponentially with uh, our enrollment, our student participation, the number of people that come to visit, and it's just a great experience for us to partner with Interfaith and to show our kids artwork and to, to help with the food pantry. It's, a, it's just a terrific community experience for us. Well, this is the John Cooper School Empty Bowls Project, and it's our 12th year to have this event here. The first year, it was like from square one, we had to find soup to be donated, find bags, find water, and uh, now it's grown into this huge thing that is amazing, and we've made over $75,000 in the few years that we've been doing it. And the way it works is people pay at the door $10 a piece to come in. They get to choose a bowl, and they go through the soup line and get a bowl of soup and water. And then we've got a silent auction where they can uh, bid with their phone number to uh, win a bowl. We have a lot of fun, and uh, we, we worked really hard to get this together. We even created uh, bowl creation days for the faculty and for the students. So now you'll see a lot of the stuff um, that the kids made that was after school that they did uh, for a special event that we, we hosted on campus. And um, I love donating every year. I've got several bulls out on the auction and it's really exciting to see all the people come support us. And every time we're able to increase the money that we raise and, and that's all we can, um, we, we're really thankful for that, that everybody's really supporting us. One year our kids were so, um ambitious they said well we could have salad and desserts and all that and I said the gist of this is to see what it's like not to have very much to eat and so if you know we want people to come and have that one bowl of soup and one water and one piece of bread to, that's more than some people get all day and a lot of our kids don't realize there's so many people in our community that don't have food don't some of them don't even have running water they have houses with water fixtures but they have to get water because water's not piped to their house. Um, and, and Interfaith knows who those people are and they make packages that they deliver to the families. We feel like Interfaith is taking care of the people in our community real well. Um, another great thing about what we're doing this year, if you notice, we're not just doing ceramics. We have photographs, we've done watercolor paintings, we have 3D printed bowls that we've worked on. And so we're really trying to up our game and step it up and do something that we haven't done. I'm just so glad that each year we just keep getting better and better. I hope people see this and realize that it's a community event, it's not just for our school. <laughs> Interfaith is the beneficiary of Empty Bowls and has been for the last several years. It means so much. Um, the students at John Cooper have been so supportive of Interfaith in all of our programs, but I know they really, really love and enjoy the food pantry. Um, you know, truly just to give back to those neighbors in need right here in South Montgomery County, um, I think means so much to those students knowing that when they give, that they're giving back to our neighbors and so it just means a lot. So the Woodlands was built on HUD money and a lot of people don't realize that and Interfaith was actually created from the very very beginning you know over 43 years ago to help those in need that live in our areas and those are families you know um, seniors and then of course just people like you and me that you know end up in crisis and they need help to get through their month and that's what Interfaith is all about bringing awareness to the amount of need because we are known as if you will a more affluent community there are pockets of need everywhere in every single village of, um, of the Woodlands and of course beyond um, and we serve all of South Montgomery County and meet, try to meet those needs. Interfaith is only possible and the things that we do are only possible because of the community. Just tremendous volunteers, um, all of our amazing donors and really amazing organizations like John Cooper that continue to give back um, and so that we're able to continue to meet those continued, those, those needs that they, they grow every single year. Last year we served 25% more people than we did the prior year. A lot of that was because of the floods, a lot of that was because of the economy, but um, in terms of our food pantry we served 19,000 individuals in our area, in South Montgomery County through our food pantry and we're able to do that because of very, very generous um, people in our community. So thank you so much.